so today here with us, we have the representatives of the BTU Cottbus Zemtenberg, the Pfarzheim University, and the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. Each of these institutions will make a 10 minute presentation and afterwards we'll have time to answer all of your questions. And meanwhile, I encourage you to write your questions in the chat box along the presentations. You can write it in Portuguese or in English. If you write it in Portuguese, I can translate it for our guests with no problem. So, ah, one last reminder, this session is being recorded and will be available later on on our YouTube channel. So don't worry if you miss anything. And I will now finally give the word to our guests, starting with Ms. Lampad, who will present the BTU Cottbus Bag. Please, uh, the stage is yours. Hello everyone, my name is Dorothy Lampert. I work at the International Relations Office at the Plattenburg University. I'm sorry, that's at the Plattenburg University of Technology, Cottbus Senftenberg, or in short, the BTU, which I will refer to in the next minutes. Where do you find us? We are right in the heart of Europe. Just like our country, Germany, we are in the northeastern part of that country in the federal state of Brandenburg. We are very close to the German capital, Berlin. It's just one and a half hours approximately away. And you can quickly go over to Poland, which is 30 minutes from our um, city. Here's a more detailed view on where to find us in the region and where to find the different campuses. So just as I said, Berlin is quite close, Dresden. Another city rich of culture and history is also only one and a half hours away. And the Czech Republic and its capital Prague are also easy to visit. But aside from discovering the cities around Brandenburg, Brandenburg itself is quite exciting. With the Spreewald, a national park between Cottbus and Berlin, which spans several hundred square kilometers and as more than a thousand kilometers of waterways which you can discover by boat or with a guide. But it's not only nature which makes Brandenburg exciting, it's mainly the people who live here, who come from cultures all over the world. So chances are high you might just meet people from Brazil here in Brandenburg, because there's quite a lot of opportunities where cultures are shared and celebrated. So what will you get information about today in the upcoming minutes? First of all, you get to know the BTU, who we are and what we offer. Then I'll tell you five reasons to come here and to grow at our university. I'll present you our services for international students and give you a short introduction to our application process. So what do we, the BTU, offer? A few numbers to start. Currently, we offer 62 study programs. Since we are University of Technology, they are predominantly in relation to STEM subjects. 24 of these programs are international, so either entirely taught in English or double and joint degree programs with partner universities. The internationality of the region is also found at our university, with 44% of 6,600 students currently enrolled at the BTU coming from abroad. You've already seen we're close to quite a lot of interesting cities. And right now it's not too sunny, but generally Cottbus is quite a sunny place with almost 2,000 hours of sunshine per year. Here's a bit more detail about our study programs and academic opportunities. First of all, we center our studies and research around four essential topics and question of tomorrow. Those are the following, energy transition and decarbonization, global change and transformation processes, health and science sciences, artificial intelligence and sensor technology. And those areas are structured and found in the programs offered by six faculties. Faculty one is the STEM faculty. So if you're interested in maths, this will, the place to, will be the place to go. Faculty two is teaching environment and natural sciences. 
if you have an interest in mechanical engineering, electrical and energy systems, then Faculty 3 might be your future academic home for a time. We are mainly a university of technology, but for Faculty 4 and Faculty 5 teaching human sciences and business law and social sciences, the humanities are represented at the BTU. And Faculty 6 is quite popular with international students since it's teaching architecture, civil engineering and urban planning. Here's an overview of all the international study programs we have at the moment, which are entirely English language. We have one Bachelor of Science in Environmental and Research Management, quite, quite a lot of masters entirely taught in English. Four of them are completely new and only going to start this October, which are transformation studies, hybrid electric propulsion technology, micro and nano electronics, and urban design and sustainable revitalization. Also, PDA, PBF3, PhDs in English, which are structured PhDs, meaning that you can follow courses related to your research topics while you write your thesis. Next to those English language study programs, we have a wide variety of joint or double degrees with our partner universities. You get the slides sent after this session. So if you want more information, you can always click the links in the presentation. To be able to study in Germany, you need to have a certain language level, be it in the English or German programs. If you do not have that level yet, we offer preparatory programs like Bridge to Studies, where for doing one year or one semester, you gain the necessary knowledge to follow a German study program. Bridge to Studies on campus finishes with the DSH examination, which is also taken by many other German universities. The hybrid format, where you do the first semester entirely online, finishes with the test DAF. For both of them, you do not need to pay tuition fees but you need a higher education and transcredible vacation in Germany. If you do not have that, we don't worry. We have a college prep year called ESIS, where you will gain through following a German language intensive course and academic preparation that entrance qualification to then study at a university in Brandenburg. Now you know what you can study at BTU, but why should you? There's five reasons. The first one, as you've already seen, internationality and diversity are top priorities for us. There is a large share of international students from now even more than 120 different countries at our university. And we try to make you feel at home from your first day on by initiating a welcoming university culture through programs such as student bodies or different student initiatives. And we have more than 150 partner universities, so there's multiple possibilities to spend a semester abroad or participate in courses from set partners. Now, you can already be a student abroad, but Pro Campus will then be your home university and you can travel even further. The second reason, our professors are here for you. An excellent staff to student ratio makes sure that our professors and faculty staff is accessible and approachable, and that there are small groups created which will make your learning success higher and give you almost individual academic supervision. Studying here at the BTU Katze Senfenberg is affordable. There's mostly no tuition fees. Everybody needs to pay a semester fee of about 340 euros, but that's for all students, no matter if they're German or foreign. The cost of living in Cottbus is quite reasonable, um, so you can either find accommodation in a student dormitory, which are quite popular among foreign students, so we recommend also searching for private accommodation. But it's possible to lead a quite comfortable life with a student budget here in Cottbus. Reason number four is that we are a young and modern technical university. Just last year, we celebrated our 10th anniversary, and that means we have a modern campus with short distances, which provide you with great study environments and excellent facilities, like for example, laboratories, library and ateliers, and research equipment. Here is an overview of the central campus directly in Cottbus. 
The interesting building at the front is in fact our library. And reason number five, besides studying, there are many things to do and see in the city of Cottbus and around it. The university itself offers a wide range of sports and other activities for students like student theater. And there are many music festivals and other festivities taking place in and around Cottbus. So what do we offer you once you're here? To support the start of your studies, we have a welcome and registration point where people will help you with finding accommodation and go through the administrative tasks necessary to live in Germany. The International Relations Office equally organizes her excursions and events to get to know the region of Brandenburg, reward scholarships in order to support you financially. And if there's any questions and challenges, you can always contact the partner and get counseling to help answer them. Lastly, we can refer you to international student groups and events so that you'll find community at our university and our city. How do you apply here once you decided to come here? There's three steps to follow. First of all, you need to choose a study program, of course. Most of them do not require a minimum GPA. They require a lot of documents, but no general grades to have. Step number two, you need to prepare all those documents needed. Two are very central to have. One is the higher education entrance qualification for Germany. You can check if your high school diploma or your bachelor's degree diploma qualifies as such online on sites such as Anabin or through UniAssist. Also quite important, your proof of language proficiency. So to show that you have the language level to be able to follow the study program, there's a overview at our website which certificates are accepted by the university. So you will easily find those through clicking those links. And now that you've prepared all those documents, you can prepare the application through the correct portal. In the case of the BTU, it is UniAssist, also used by quite a lot of other German universities, where you upload set documents and can also check if your higher education entrance application is valid in Germany. So some deadlines about application. More importantly now that the summer semester is too close to apply, is the winter semester starting on the 1st of October. People with international certificates need to apply until at latest the 15th of July. This is equally valid for programs without admission restrictions, but also degrees with admission, admission restrictions and our preparatory programs. If you are interested in the PhD programs or doctoral studies, there's no specific application deadline. You can contact the people responsible through the website also, like before, when you get to the slide sent after the presentation, there will be a complete schedule overview that you can visit by clicking this link. So here are my contact details. If you have any further questions or want more information, you can write me an email. And we are hoping to see you soon at Incopus and welcome you as part of our university. So in order you can explore the study, explore the world and start your studies at the BTU. Please feel free to ask any questions in the chat that we can answer later. Thank you. Thank you very much, much Ms. Lampert for the presentation. Um, if you have any questions, you can as she said, write it in the chat. We'll answer them later after all presentations. Um, so now it's time to hear about the Pforzheim University from Ms. Bremsa. Hello, everybody, and welcome from Pforzheim University. We are also just uh, in the beginning, I will tell you a bit of where we are and what we offer. And then as with the other universities, you can ask later on in the chat or to me, my, to me personally, your questions. Now we are same as uh, Cottbus in the center of Europe because that's where Germany is located. However, we are in the south of Europe. 
Um, we have Pforzheim is located right between Karlsruhe and you will hear a presentation about Karlsruhe right after me and Stuttgart and it is um, very close to many different European countries. So we've measured it. Here's our capital Berlin. It's 6, 660 kilometers away from us, but there are six other capitals that are closer to us than Berlin. For instance, Brussels in Belgium, Paris in France, Luxembourg, um, Basel in Switzerland. So we are really central within Europe. We have four different airports close to us, which you can use in order to travel to port time. Port time, here you see how you pronounce it. It's sometimes a bit difficult for foreigners. It's an industrial city at the northern edge of the Black Forest, and it has 320,000 inhabitants, um, 120,000 in the city and 200,000 in the county. It is now a typical modern city because it has been completely destroyed during the Second World War. It is known for its jewelry manufacturing um, and since 1767, a leading, leading in jewelry and silver and companies like Chopin or Wellendorf, which specialize in jewelry or watchmaking are located here. But there are also major other German industrial companies nearby because we're really in the industrial core of Germany. Um, like Daimler, Bosch, Porsche, Fischer, names that you might know. Lisa, here you see some pictures from Fordheim University. Now, what do we offer? This is our school and this is the library. Um, we have three faculties, the School of Design, the Business School and the School of Engineering, of which the School of Design is the oldest. Um, we have very small with only 6,300 students and 180 professors. If you calculate that, you already see that our ratio professor to student is very, very low. So we really know you when you study with us. So we are there to help you, to support you. Um, you can talk to us. Um, so that's a really good thing. We offer 28 undergraduate and 16 master, pro master programs as well as non-degree study programs. Um, we are among the top German business schools and about among the top German university in the CAG ranking, uh, which is a German ranking. We are in the top group. In multi rank, in multi rank, we score eight out of nine top rankings, and in the Ad Universal Worldwide ranking, we are the nine. Um, we are worldwide number nine of all universities of applied science and the best in Germany. Um, so. For our three faculties, the business school is the largest with 3,200 students. It's accredited by ASCSB and this accreditation is an American accreditation. If you want to study later on in America or if you, it helps you if your university has been accredited. We also hold the FMD accreditation. Uh, we are a member of CLADEA. CLADEA is the Consejo Latinoamericano de Escuelas de Administración and of Siemens, which is the same for Eastern Europe. We are one of Germany's largest business schools and very, very close to industry. What kind of English language programs do we offer? We offer three bachelor's degrees in business in English, which are digital enterprise management, international business. Uh, it's bilingual program. It's in English and French or Spanish and international marketing, which um, is on these three are only in English and graduate programs. There we offer digital management. It's basically the consecutive master. If you come out of digital enterprise management, you can continue with digital business management, corporate communication management, and an MBA in international manage management, which has a uh, which has a tuition, a higher tuition fee than the 1,600 that we charge per term for non-EU passport holders. But I can tell you, your money is well invested because we are a real good school. Now, if we have a look um, at what is included in the double degree programs in international business, you see kind of here the courses. All of our English um, programs require a level B2 in order to enter international business, additionally a level B1 in Spanish or French, and you will acquire German during the course of study. Um, digital enterprise management is the same with regard to language levels. You have to there's a typo, English level is B2 that you need in order to enter and you will acquire the B1 German level at the end of studies. And in international marketing, it's also similar. Um, 
The only difference is there that you obtain a mandatory double degree here. Uh, we have loads of partner universities that enable us to offer joint degrees. With regard to graduate programs, there's a master in corporate communication management and in digital management. They will all start this winter for the first time. They're fully in English and they are one and a half years long. We also offer in, offer in these programs double degree options. So if you study half a year longer, you will also obtain a degree from one of our partners. Corporate communication management that is unique uh, because it is based on the three, three pillars of public relations and CSR communication, on internal communication and change management, and on digital marketing and social media. And to tell you the truth, there are very, very few um, masters that actually have this focus on international internal communication and change management. So that is our USP there. Uh, digital business management that the new that the new master um, it is a it is like a combination of the information techniques and um, and business and you learn there to um, to introduce information management um, in the business world and it's a very small program with a maximum of 25 people there with close networking to industry you see the companies that we cooperate with and last but not least, we also offer an MBA program. It's a 20 months full time MBA um, if you start in September, but you can also have a 16 month short track if you've already graduated from business. Um, there, the tuition is a bit higher. There, we charge 4,400 per term. Our School of Engineering, they only offer their classes in German, but as um, my, uh, but as the Dorothy Lampert from um, Cottbus Senftenberg already explained, if you don't speak German, there are options how to learn it. We call it a Studien colleague for um, for time. This is not within the city; it is in another city. But there you can acquire the um, the German language skills as well as the um, as well as the necessary. Um, technical skills and then you could start one of our nine undergraduate programs in the engineering or one of the one of the four graduate programs school of design same as school of engineering all of the undergraduate programs are in german the preparatory program catapult it is in english and german and the english language program in uh, on the master's level well that's that's in english the most famous of our programs is transportation design we are number one worldwide. Um, we changed the spot with Pasadena every once in a while. At the moment, we are number one. Um, now, if you want to come to us, how do you apply? At the Business and Engineering School, you apply on May 31st for the winter term and um, on November 30th for the summer term. If you are an EU passport holder, different different um, dates to apply. It's an online application, but you find all the information on our web, web on our web page. Now I have to see if Miriam Kashta is among the participants because she was going to tell you something about life in um, life at Fortsheim. Mir Miriam, I didn't see you though, so far. Can you? Can you turn on your camera if you're there? Well, looks as if she didn't make it. So I'm sorry. Um, so I will just continue. Now, we do have, uh, as I told you before, we're in the industrial heart of Germany. So within our um, course of studies we have mandatory internship of one term and here you see some of the companies that are reachable within your student um, travel ticket so Porsche, Daimler, Mercedes, Bosch but also fashion, um, furniture, all bands, um, fashion, Bosch, Bosch should be, uh, Hugo Boss that should be here, um, chemical industry, BASF, um, SAP, computer industry. So we do have a lot of interesting companies around that do participate in teaching, but they also participate. Um, but you also have the, um, but you also have the possibilities to do internships there. Housing, 
compared to other cities, housing in Port Time is still available and affordable. We do have uh, 500 rooms in public student halls um, and uh, the price range between 215 and 380 euro. So there's actually no problem to find a place in Port Time University. Um, if you if you apply for the place at the dorm as soon as you get your registration. Tuition, I already mentioned it, 1,600. Student service fee is 180 euros per semester. It is paid, um, it gives you a discount in the cafeteria and the free public transport. That's what we offer. Living expenses, you can live in Port time with less than 1,000 euros um, a month. So this is basically um, how the how your cost will be split up. And obviously, if you like to go out more, then it'll be a bit more expensive. Now, what can you do around Port Time? We have a restaurant, cafeteria and cafe on campus. We have about 20 different sports groups. Uh, we have different student initiatives that host events, parties and trips. Um, here's just an overview. Rentschmiede is, is a kind of unique one that built their own car racing car every term and uh, participate in Formula student races. Uh, we are right next to an animal park. You can cuddle a moose during two lectures. Uh, you can look have a have a look at the alpacas or the deer. We have a cafe that's um, Cafe Roland, which is quite famous for students. Um, because it offers also concerts and exhibitions, and we're the gateway to the Black Forest. So there are a lot of things to do with regard to hiking. Uh, also, obviously, in Germany, you know the Christmas markets, or you might have heard about them. There are quite a few in our area. We are also close. <laughs> we are also close. We're close to beer regions and wine regions. So we have the wine regions in Pfalz and Baden, but also some folk, folk festivals like Kanstadter Vasen, which is rather beer dominated festival. It's also not far away. And obviously, you can travel a lot if you want to. So I would love to see you in Germany. Feel free to ask questions. And I hand over to my colleague from. Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, which is actually located quite close to us. Thank you, Professor. Uh, I think we are not uh, really, as you mentioned, we are not so, so far. Uh, less than 20 kilometers, you're landing this uh, beautiful overview here, just as my background. This is actually the blue light of this city called Karlsruhe, and the castle is built in 1715. Um, today, I, I just come here not just to introduce this castle to you. Um, I think it's more important to introduce our university to you. Um, KIT is one of the actually uh, uh, elite universities in the TU9 group uh, in Germany, um, abbreviation of the Castle Institute of Technology. Um, they built up this university in 1825. So um, generally saying uh, KIT doing um, the STEM major, this is quite almost 200 years. Um, if we're talking about ranking, uh, you might, some of you already Google it, um, this university ranking worldwide, the QS ranking, for example, um, academics in the top of 150. Um, and if we're talking about the QS employability ranking, uh, it's even higher in the, already uh, reaching to the top of 50, so the 46. And in Germany, continue several years in QS uh, employability ranking, always number one. Uh, almost 10, 10 years. Please, next slide. Um, uh, we can, be, because of this uh, time, I think we're going to save some time. Uh, agenda is, you know, I would like to tell you, start from our car school, just abbreviation. Um, I think this time is limited. limited. Um, I would tell you today more about our international department of the uh, car school institute of the technology. Uh, and then a leaving study here. Um, is it sounds some more, uh, for example, from the surroundings here and leaving uh, cost of standards um, almost uh, uh, like the colleagues uh, um, in the book time. All right, let's uh, start our journey firstly from our car school. The next slide, please. Um, car school is generally saying um, at, the, at the border of the uh, almost some border of the France. Uh, so um, Alsace is not so far from here, also 20 kilometers of west. Um, if you're heading uh, east, then a little bit, uh, you're going to pass through, drove, drive through the post time, then you're heading to the Stuttgart. I won't repeat the words that my uh, my colleagues already mentioned. 
Um, Charlie saying here is in the uh, um, uh, second uh, or third uh, biggest city in baden württemberg um, We have ha inhabitants on about 312 uh, or on about 1,000 inhabitants. And in this city, we call it actually the university city. Why is that? Because then on about 30,000 um, inhabitants directly, either they are students or they're the working staff, a 10,000, uh, another 10,000 working staff. Uh, directly relevant to this university. Um, this is one of the biggest in technical university around here. And the annual, um, actually, Sunshine Hour is a little bit more than in, in the north. It's on about uh, 1,935 and located in Baden Württemberg, uh, one of the strongest, uh, strongest GDP um, actually states uh, in the Germany. And uh, next uh, slide, please. Just like I mentioned just now, um, Castle is not like a vivid with uh, lots of uh, movings here going on. A student's life is, in, you can experience in the city life. Um, not only just uh, we have the Dust Fest as a, uh, a yearly uh, music fest and, and um, Castle, um, we also have also the laser show, for example, in the summer. And this is well, uh, gathering lots of audience from, uh, from different, different regions in Germany, even from the Europe. Um, but today, I, I think it's in the leisure time. This is not actually in the major time for your students. A major time for the students who did study. So, in the next next slide, we we're going to introduce you our um, uh, in, introduce our region more. Um, just now, uh, like my colleagues already mentioned, Pforzheim and uh, uh, Kassel is lies in the very near. So we actually uh, Kassel lies in the technology region. Um, goes uh, go to east. You can find lots of big names mentioned by by my colleagues already. If you go north, uh, you can also find the big uh, world's largest chemical uh, company, is BASF. Um, and if you go uh, go to uh, west, and then you can find the largest uh, truck manufacturing plant in the world from the Daimler. And uh, this is not even like 18 kilometers uh, kilometers uh, from us. Uh, if you go south and a uh, little bit heading heading east, and you can also find the headquarter of the Kaltais. Um Next play, uh, slide, please. This is a kind of a keywords of our uh, our um, our university. Uh, I mentioned already this is like a 200 years, and um, just uh, just updated uh, the professors' numbers is already over now 400. Um, this is quite a decent size. And most important thing, um, we need to talk about some support from different uh, different parts of the, uh, for example, level of the um, German educational uh, system um, is like on about 28 um, percent from the government and local government again, like the bottom of the will offer like a 30 percentage of the uh, this uh, 1,100 millions of the annual budget euros uh, flowing into this uh, uh, this university to support the facilities and um, our professors' research. Uh, another big party is actually from the third fund party. The third fund party, for example, is from the alumni too. Um, we located some worldwide in different campuses because um, it's quite decent size. Even Germany, we also have a five uh, campuses, for example, listed in Dresden in the east. And in Garmisch, we also have uh, uh, have uh, institutions over there. Um, if you know the Schildtag, uh, you might know the Schildtag. It is in quite a German uh, typical places here. Uh, but if you know the NASA, there is a uh, cooperation uh, project with the NASA going on with this uh, um, um, roller in the, in the Mars. Um, and that happening actually will be researched in the Schildtag. Um, Cause what is in the south and in, is actually in the main campus where it is. Um, actually, the pictures now behind me is the main campus and the south campus. Even in Karlsruhe, we also have a four campuses. Um, one is in south campus, as I mentioned. Another one is like an east campus where you have uh, the car trail uh, testing over there. And another part is in the north campus and also quite big. It's in the north campus for the research uh, for energy. Um, yeah, please, uh, the next slide. Um, this ranking and just now I already mentioned, I won't repeat. Um, let's go to the next information for you. Um, we have a lot of facilities, uh, as I mentioned from, from just now. Um, uh, for example, the library is quite interesting. Our library open for the 24 hours or seven days in a week. Um, uh, literally saying our students have this need. If uh, before the exams, they will just drilling into the preparation of the exams 
or writing the thesis or the seminars, for example. Um, lots of students will just take overnight, even uh, studying uh, in the library. We just sometimes make a joke. They wouldn't live there. Um, uh, literally, uh, some of the one, some one uh, before the preparation, some of the uh, exams, um, they are there. And dining hall, we can proudly say we have a lot of the dining uh, um, canteens here, even in one campus. We have a two uh, campus uh, canteen in one campus in the uh, north, in the south. Um, um, this is quite uh, kind of a lot, a lot of the choices can, lot, our students can choose. Um, sports uh, facilities that's all over the, the campus, uh, main campus in the south, and uh, we can uh, you can have uh, all the chances to find any of the uh, sport arts, uh, the common sport arts. I mean, uh, if there um, er, there is a chance that we can offer, we will offer the students to do that. This next slide. Um, in the history, um, KIT has a lot of the famous alumni. Um, uh, there is a nickname, um, maybe this is also a fun fact. They call it an, uh, Kasuo Institute of Technology is a um, CEO factory. Why is that? Firstly, it's in Carl Benz. Uh, maybe ring a bell for you. Um, Carl Benz was born in this city and had a high school also in this city. Most important thing, in 1864, and he graduated from this former university in the Polytechnic uh, Castle here. Um, he um, invented the first combustion engine. I think this is he changing our humankind, how we move. Um, this is an, and follow he, his step. Uh, Mr. Dieter Cheshire um, graduated in the 1970s uh, uh, somehow, and he studied here in electrical engineering. And also, he uh, was the um, Daimler uh, chief if, um, from since the 2006 into 2019, if, I'm, if I remember right. Um, furthermore, I won't mention each of them because of the time, but uh, maybe ring a, you a bell like uh, Mr. Thiessen and also the and Skoda, uh, if you know in the car more. Um, there are also uh, a computer science uh, giant uh, working, uh, uh, studying here before, like uh, Mr. Roland Mark and also the Hans Werner Hector and Plattner, Mr. Plattner. Um, generally saying the SAP, there are four, there were four, five co-founders and three of co-founders directly uh, graduated from this university. Um, and Another thing is like a German only uh, till now is uh, maybe there is the second one, uh, but before uh, before it is like the only uh, German astronaut Abby Thunbergast is also uh, studied here before. So it's uh, one of the alumni. We're showing this uh, this alumni map is not just for the bluffing part, but we would like to mention you. We are not make only for making cars since this university was stranding their research facility and the capacity into three main uh, columns. First thing is uh, renewable energy, and um, second one is the mobility. Anything, anything movable, so more from a nanotechnology to the bicycle, big to a little bit big to the cars, and to the flights, and even to the rockets. Uh, Lupin, uh, we call this in like uh, airspace. Um, is all belonging to this area, mobility science. And um, the third uh, area column will be like a computer science. It will belong to the information technology. So the uh, what we call it, you can. Uh, find the buzzword under under this, for example, the cloud computing, AI, and so on and so forth. Next slide, please. Um, I think this is in the German engineering. Is a, this slide is in true? The shell actually put in the first page. Um, uh, we will going to continue to uh, since we have we don't have so many time. Um, we have actually the international department of the KIT. Uh, what we offer here is uh, all the English start from a bachelor uh, program, um, all the way for the to the master and to the uh, to the doctorate and even to, to the postdoc. You can always find under the international department. What is actually the common point here? Common point here: we offer all the programs totally in English. None of the German word will be needed here. So the students study here do not need. Uh, any of the German word, you can just finish your whole academic route from the bachelor degree to the postdoc, all under here. Today, we would like to introduce to you actually the two programs that start uh, from the Kaubenz School, which is actually the Bachelor of Science in, uh, in a major in it's a mechanical engineering college. Uh, please, next slide. And the Hector School uh, with the six program, so uh, 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 can be um, studied in a master program. 
Um, we offer a unique program called mechanical engineering, uh, which is our uh, our authentic, uh, very authentic uh, program here um, in three years and six semesters. Um, totally taught in English, just now I mentioned, and uh, students graduate here with the 180 um, ECTS point. Uh, this credit, it's, uh, you might haven't heard before, this is an abbreviation of the European Credit Transfer System. And with that, you can easily get uh, transferred from different uh, different universities in Germany and also outside of Germany, even worldwide, uh, as long as the university accredited and follow the Bologna process. Um, most important thing, um, there is an online application until a um, uh, 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 deadline is for the each intake in 30th of April. We're not following uh, like the uh, like the other uh, colleagues here um, to using the uni ask. Uh, uni assessed. Um, we only using our own web portal to apply that. Uh, so please uh, bear do remember that um, to apply through our web portal uh, or from our own. Um, we actually accept the, um, the all the uh, international uh, courses. For example, the international baccalaureate um, IB program, or we also um, accept them directly the A levels, which is naturally the British system, and uh, if you have a U.S. high school diploma as a your high school certificate, leaving certificate, we also accept that. And plus APs and for AP, you, you also will be eligible for uh, studying in our university in this top end school in the mechanical engineering. Please further slide. Um, we go down to the master. Um, so this is actually for the bachelor degree. Um, uh, this is actually just now I mentioned like a three years. Um, this page I would like to well, we would like to show you we have a co cooperation very close connection with the uh, Daimler um, also the Bosch and Caltais that means at the at this program Smart Factory at Industry uh, with our college program we were sending you directly from here uh, from your study at the last semester directly to one of these companies to have a uh, training program uh, in the topic of Smart Factory at Industry. It is not just a simple inter uh, uh, internship. Uh, it's much more than an internship. It will involve in the hands-on uh, training, and also you're gonna deliver a kind of uh, scientific solution with a certain topic on uh, on going in those companies. And they will enhance a huge chance that uh, after that, uh, students can uh, really um, uh, find a position in their companies. Uh, please next slide. Uh, just now I mentioned the admissions requirements. Um, please uh, uh, take a picture or uh, or a screenshot uh, because in the, they won't show uh, maybe maybe later on um, if you cannot find it. Most important thing, even if you have a, like international uh, leaving school leaving the certificate like I mentioned on the slide, but you still need to um, uh, uh, to take the tests from the SAT. So this is actually a uh, American um, uh, test uh, for the uh, university entrance test. Uh, please bear in mind, we also uh, accept the ACT now uh, since the last year uh, on about the 24. And if you, if the English is not I think Mr. Liu had a short connection problem. Uh, meanwhile, I uh, will remember that you can still write your questions in the chat box uh, in Portuguese or in English, how you prefer, and we we would address them uh, at the end of the presentation. We just we can wait a little while to see if Mr. Liu can come back to us. While he, Mr. Liu, can you hear us? Yeah, no, I can hear you. Uh, so yeah? I think it's a short interruption, right? Yeah, we just can't see you. Okay, I'm going to turn, turn off the camera again. Can you see me yeah, then? Now, now we can see you again.
and yeah, maybe you're already time out. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I'm just gonna give a short introduction of the Hector School of our master. What we offer is actually six programs. Um, if you can uh, change the slide to that page. Um, um, there, there are six programs what we can offer, um, which is actually you start from a financial engineering, uh, where you're gonna learn like a crypto, uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, and, uh, like a electrical banking, and even as a software, you're gonna learn industrial, uh, industrial financing tools. Um, the second one, we also offer the information software engineering and management. Uh, generally saying our, our hacker school, um, offered the program is in the, Technology Business School is not a simple MBA. The structure is like five modules of the uh, uh, technology modules and five modules of management. So it's kind of a technology business school. And the six majors is all in this structure. Um, this will be offered in two years in total taught in English. Um, furthermore, we also offer the the MZM. It's abbreviations of the Mobility um, System Engineering and Management. Um, those uh, those uh, majors can offer in uh, two uh, essential um, uh, specializations. For example, the e-mobility, which is now the trend of the uh, cars. Um, another one is like ADAS, so advanced in the driving assistance system. Um, so this, in the, I think the best is, uh, best goal for that will be uh, no one will gonna sit in the car as a driver later on, only as a guest. Um, so this is a kind of a special specialization students also can choose. Uh, furthermore, we also offer production operation management. And with this management of product development, um, those majors is draining into the production process and logistics process, and also to optimize the supply chain management, those topic, um, even from the starting with the mechanical design uh, or product design phases. Um, the students are also going to learn, for, for example, agile um, uh, system for learning uh, how to um, react and be a, a quick change of the, of the market and by the design, if the product design. Um, furthermore, we also offer um, the energy engineering because uh, now nowadays you're going to have the shortage of the energy worldwide. And even uh, uh, students, who are, um, not the students only, but also the research area will get, um, will find will like to find a new resource of the energy sources, not just in Europe. Uh, this is also a worldwide topic. So our students can also learn from the new new uh, source of the re renewable energy. We have this physical like uh, um, laboratory and uh, facilities, even like a hectares uh, wide range in the north campus uh, covered with the solar panels for, for example also uh, covered with the windmills uh, um, they are searching the scientists are there are searching the renewable energy sources um, with that i think um, we can actually change to the last slide which where our uh, context info are there um, hopefully that you can uh, contact with us um, there is a huge, uh, I think, difference with the, the other institutions. We are not a free. Um, the master program is on about total, totally 36,000 euros for two years. And uh, for the bachelor program, it's uh, taught in English, uh, a yearly tuition fees on about, um, about 17,000 euros. So please, if you apply this, uh, bear in mind, there is also a tuition fee. With that, I wish you good luck um, and welcome you to the all to the question round. I think. Yes, thank you very much for the presentation. I think you can now go go to the questions. Yeah, uh, we have a question from Diana. Um, she, I think that's a question that all of you can answer. Uh, she asks if you have opportunities for postdoc. So who wants to start? I can start. We only offer postdoc opportunities in our research projects and these center on, uh, these center on, um, 
resource efficiency management, management of um, yeah, natural resources, or uh, they center on electric mobility. So these are the only opportunities we have. At the beat. Hi, okay, you can hear me. Um, at the BTU, we have a graduate research school. There's also a postdoc network in Brandenburg, which connects us to the other universities. But there are a lot of positions open also for academic staff, some professors. We are also building a you know, energy innovation um, institute. So there are quite a lot of stuff open. You need to, um, if you're interested in that, it's all on our page of career at the BTU and job vacancies. And there's quite a lot of um, opportunities for academic staff in different subjects. Generally saying, KIT have no under about 125 institutes. Um, so each institute have their own projects and, uh, for research. Um, they're going to need lots of posts and postdocs and doctorates. Um, so it's quite a wide range. Um, there is a specialized website where you can find the doctorates and um, positions on our. Um, public website. Uh, you can just uh, Google it and the doctorates and, and postdoc doctorates in the KIT, then you can uh, reach out those websites. You can have the chance to have the information. Thank you all for the answers. Eduardo Bastos has a similar uh, question, but I think that's already been answered about postdoc positions at the university. Um, and a question we get a lot, maybe you can clarify it, is about age limit or any time age, any type of time limit for the uh, diplomas that they have to have for entering our your programs in your universities. Maybe that's something. Do I start again? Uh, yeah. We have no <laughs> we have no age limit. However, um, in our university, the study duration for the bachelor program is limited. If you haven't finished after five years, you will be automatic. Well, we, there will be an automatic termination. And I think that applies for KIT as well, because it's, <laughs> it's a general rule for the, for the state of Baden-Württemberg. But that is the only limit that we have. But otherwise, you could come with. We actually have a. I actually had a student from Singapore recently who started a bachelor's degree with fifty-five years old, so that is possible. Um, yes, we also do not have an age limit. Um, there is a regular study time, so bachelors are usually done in six semesters, masters in four semesters. But if you need more time. It is possible to take some. I, I'm not sure if there's a maximum maximum limit of semesters you can take. I need to research that. Yeah, as my colleagues already mentioned, um, but of them have the general rules. Um, so five years is not only for the limitation of the study, but I think it's also for the visa. Um, in international students will get this uh, facing this confronted with this problem. Um, another thing is um, uh, the age of the uh, for study. Um, there is actually also no age, obviously, um, limited. Um, I think the most uh, the students who study in the technology business school or MBA is in a little bit elder average than the, the students in the bachelor. Um, we had only one uh, uh, one student uh, back that time. It's already thirty. If you would like to study the started with the study bachelor degree so it is quite uh, quite uh, seldom uh but for, with this technology business school we can also up to the 50 uh like the students age okay thank you marco bonetti has one more question um he asks do you have any online courses taught in german or english that can be followed remotely I don't think that question was directed at anyone. So, if someone... I start again, um, we do <laughs> have. Well, um, you can only follow our courses if you are a registered student. So, if you 
if you apply and you get a student registration and maybe your visa doesn't come in time, then there are some possibilities of very few courses that you can follow online. But we do not have any like MOOCs uh, where you can just register for one course. know that we have a, study, a master's program called World Heritage Studies, where there is an entire online track. Um, you can look at the website to see if there's other tracks that are entirely online by, as I said, clicking the link in the slide where there's an overview of all the study programs. Generally saying for the bachelor degree, uh, we don't offer any online courses. Um, since if you're registered in the in study where we serve it, we expect you to come down in Germany and uh, um, study in person. Since uh, science is or STEM, uh, you cannot just uh, make a study at, in the theory. Um, you shall also have the lab time. Um, but for the business school, sometimes the, uh, um, uh, the MBA part, uh, you can study online uh, but we expect the student to come down here if you have a difficulty that the like a visa um, cannot get on time two months long or three months long that's uh, still negotiable but uh, you shall register it as a student at first hand oh, I forgot to turn my microphone on <laughs> thank you very much uh, I don't see any other questions here um we had a recommendation of an online german course that's also important to learn german in when you're planning to go study in germany um but if there are no any no there other questions more. there is yeah? one more question I, on the, on the student colleague oh uh, yeah point, uh, point Roberto. Roberto. Um, student colleague yeah. um, I think the colleague from BTU in Senftenberg, she had the student colleague in her presentation. Student colleague is if you don't hold a German Abitur and if you don't hold an IB with a significant degree of German, then you have to get your Abitur recognized. And this you do with student colleagues. So you do one year of studies. And there is a mathematical course, a science course, there's a science course um, and a humanities course. And um, that you have to do and it depends on where you do it and i think mrs lampert you have a student colleague because i saw it in your presentation i thought it was your easiest course um it's like brandenburg has not a classical student colleague like many other regions in germany um we have a program where you follow courses that prepare you for certain degrees so at DBTU, you can be prepared for engineering or mint courses. If you're more interested in economics, you can study economics at BTU, but the Studium Kolleg, the preparatory program is done at Potsdam. So um, there is, and yeah, it is to gain that qualification certificate for higher education in Germany. But sometimes, depending on the school you did your diploma at, you have it. You, like I said, you can check online if German universities would accept your diploma to enter without a student colleague. Okay, I think, um, before and then they have uh, the student colleague. Uh, in recent years, they already canceled this, um, so I cannot answer you with this question. Well, I have to say that Baden-Württemberg has a central studium colleague for all universities of applied sciences. It is in Konstanz. So if you want to come to my university, you would have to do studium colleague in Konstanz. So. Okay, thank you. And our time is up, but I think we can answer the last question from Carlos Silva. He asks, do you have information about a PhD in the area of energy transition or and decarbonization? Well, I'm out here. I don't have that. <laughs> yeah, we, we have one. It's called environmental and resource resource management, which is at our faculty of uh, environment and resource sciences. So I think it might come closest to um, the subjects you mentioned.
Mm, there is no concrete name for that, but uh, uh, 125 uh, divide uh, like a three, uh, that will be like a more than uh, more than uh, 40 uh, institutions actually um, dealing with the energy. Uh, you might um, you might find lots of information actually on the website from our uh, from our website and on the KIT. So please then do that. I think you're gonna have uh, very much. Uh, Information. Um, I'm sorry, I cannot give you a link because I cannot go using Google in China. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to paste in the, the link in the chat box. That's okay. Thank you so much for the answers and thank you for uh, everyone for participating in your session today. Uh, these are regular sessions and if you want to keep updating yourself on programs from other universities, you can always check our website, theadbrasil.org.br, or our Instagram as well. And thank you very much to our guests for the wonderful presentations and for answering the public's questions. And I wish you all a wonderful day, a wonderful day, and schönen Abend for those who are in Germany. Um, and thank you very much. Enough of the zine.